Hello there, I hope you're keeping safe and well. Well, this next video really follows on from the last, um, and uh, it's just some production ideas for a brand new track that I'm working on at the minute. Uh, so please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell icon, and we'll move straight into Logic. Um, let me just take you through what's been programmed at the moment. These are the original kind of tracks with thoughts and ideas for vocals and some bass ideas, and from there, um, I've uh, programmed it in the drums put some percussion thought ideas in place, the bass I've laid down as well, acoustic guitars and synths and arpeggi uh, arpeggios. So um, let me just take you through some of these production ideas. Some of these things may chop and change, but uh, I've got a basic framework for the song. Also, uh, you'll see that um, the markers have been put into and in fact the structure of the song, we've got intro, verse, chorus, link, which is like a drum fill, into verse two, chorus, middle and eight, and then outro, uh, or the final chorus. Okay, let me take you through the drums first. So the main kind of groove of the drum kit is probably kicks in around about verse two. So pretty much, um, yeah, a, a, a great groove, predominantly, um, if you look at the uh, the, uh, the symbols we're playing on the hi hat here, into this chorus, similar beat. Um, but we've got eighth notes on the uh, on I guess which on a ride symbol. The mid late section is a slightly different groove with a fill into the final chorus. And again, this final chorus um, is quite long, um, so we kind of got uh, a split between uh, the hi hat and the ride, but the groove pretty remains fairly constant. So to support that, um, let's let me take you through some of the percussion ideas. So I guess the first thing is that um, here we've got this. I think this is the uh, a tambourine. Okay, underneath that, underneath the cap. So we've got some claps going on. And we've got some reverse effects. These are kind of really good just for transitions from one part of the song to the next. So uh, uh, let me just play. This is a, an example of a, a, like a reverse white noise into that builds into the uh, and takes you into the verse one. And the, there's some white noise here. It would be quite low in the mix, but just to kind of add a sense of movement. So some white noise, which is in just the verses. Okay, so for the drums, with regard to intros, first verse, and, and that first chorus, I've got the ability, obviously I can change this, but I just want to keep it very, very simple. So let me just show the example. Just some quarter notes. Just to support that intro, we've got a bass element, and the bass element really is just playing sixteenth notes. So, So I hope you get the, the idea there of um, 16th notes on the bass guitar. Obviously we've got the uh, acoustic guitar track happening and the, kick, and the kick is just hitting 
you know, on the quarter note. But to underpin that, we've got some um, synth parts. Now this general arc, as you can see, this synth part here, really is throughout the whole song, pretty much. It cuts out for the first verse, because I wanted nothing really in the first verse except for the guitars. Um, we've got another synth part, which is just playing, uh, obviously, uh, this is playing the, the main chord or the chord progression. This is just pedaling, pedaling that note. It's just a thin part, synth part, which is pedaling the E. And then I've got a high string part again, pedaling the in. And with all that in together, it sounds a bit like this. There's a big kind of build in the intro and then everything drops and fundamentally all I've really got is uh, the arc, the synth and that acoustic guitar playing. So let me just take you through each section and um, you'll get a just general sense of the general production throughout the song. So here we go. I did cut this bass because uh, originally, and again, at, at this stage, we're just doing production and production ideas. I did have this, I did have the bass coming in fairly early uh, in the second part of verse one. <laughs> let's just keep it out let's keep it simple so really uh, the synth parts are still going but off the back of the first verse into the first chorus again I did have a very much more busier drum uh, track pretty much this drum track here in the chorus but I thought well no let's just keep it simple so I've just really got the um, the kick really hitting on, on, on the beat uh, on, on, on the quarter notes so the transition from first verse into chorus We've got this reverse symbol happening, and then um, yes, and then the bass will kick in. <laughs> Introduce into that that chorus another another synth part of arpeggiated part. And being a bit more busier, and that we've got a more busier uh, uh, drum drum rhythm going on now. Second chorus uh, introduce the claps. And just another little transition element before we get up to some African singers, because I just thought it sounded really great. So there's a, a filter of 
kind of got a, a one uh, this one knob uh, from Waze filter. I love this thing, and that's just automated, and uh, that's the same here. Uh, so it just kind of uh, filters in, and um, like I said, I'm, I'm I'm not really at the mixing stage, but uh, yeah, just another little transitional part. Here we go. So um, this is that final chorus. So in effect, uh, as explained in the last video, verses, choruses, uh, verse one, uh, chorus one, verse two, chorus two. The, the general uh, chord progression is uh, C sharp minor, which is a six chord going to the E, going to the A, going to the F sharp minor. And in this final chorus, I just wanna, uh, I wanted to start it on a on a major chord, just to really make it more upbeat it's a really the final chorus and it's got different lyrics on it which I didn't really explain but the final chorus starts with the one chord starts with the E and then that goes from the E to the B uh, up to the C yeah E to the B to the C to the C sharp minor then to the A and uh, again just some additional uh, synth parts introduced and we've got the introduction of the uh, tambourine Two more synth parts. Claps introduced in the second part of this chorus. So um, really, I'm just playing just a quarter note on each, each uh, on each chord, really. But I've introduced this bass synth just to give it a really bass subby vibe. That's where I am at the minute. So. Uh, Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. There's going to be some more videos coming along. Um, the next stages are getting the, get a, getting a basic mix for this particular track, and then sending it off to a guitarist uh, for some guitar work, electric guitar work. Uh, so there we have it. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Please uh, again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell icon because there's going to be more videos coming your way. And please keep safe and well. Bye bye for now.